disloyalty. Yeah, I know about. Couple bitches on my team had to chalk them out. Perpetrating about the paper while I'm circulating. I'ma go and get it. She steady imitating. Disloyalty. Yeah, I know about. Couple bitches on my team had to chalk them out.
We finna get ready to bring up y'all first comedian. No, she ain't ready yet? Yeah, I ain't see her either. She dipped on the nigga. I don't know where she at. Miss Pudding, where you at, baby? There she go. There she go. There goes my baby. There she go. Y'all clap it up for Miss Pudding one time. Miss Pudding! You'll have seen her on America's Got Talent. At every club around the east side. What side? Get it, put it back.
vanilla. Okay. 
professional side, right? No, I'm not proud of it, but what I'm trying to figure out is, how do we even get to the point where we're using the terms side chick, side nigga, man crush Monday, women crush Wednesday, and all that boo shit. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, ladies, all you're going to do on Monday is post a picture of a nigga that you cheated on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? We all know that we don't give a shit. But the sad chick always gonna get mad, right? Cause the nigga gonna have some head, but don't wanna eat the pussy, so she gonna roll over and go to sleep. <laughs> then wake up in the morning talking about, what's for breakfast? <laughs> what the fuck is you still doing here? <laughs> Cause I'm a bougie fat motherfucker, right? But I do not like bougie chicks. Now I'm trying to highlight this bitch a couple weeks ago, and in the middle of the conversation, she gonna say, show me the dick facts. Show me the dick facts. enough to fuck you wrong. Work with a nigga. <laughs> yeah, a good time, let me hear you say hell yeah. Y'all yeah. having a good time, let me hear you say hell yeah. yeah. This is next comedian, I'm getting ready to break up. Y'all make sure y'all start putting your hands together right now. Start putting your hands together right now. He is the host of Thirsty Thursdays at Lock the Roll. He is also on Radio 910 from 6 to 8. He is also Shit I'm doing, you know, I'm a little bit hype. I'm glad to be out here, man. Y'all glad to be out here? Y'all happy for y'all sales? Let me say hell yeah one time. All right, let me, let me introduce myself a little bit clearer to y'all, man. My name is Darnell Jones, and I'm a little bit different than any comedian you ever gonna see here this stage or any stage in Detroit, man. And what I mean by that is I'm a little bit of a block nigga. So by a round of applause, I need to know something, man. How many of y'all from the hood is this? Okay, I see niggas throwing paint signs and all that good shit, nigga, okay? Okay, now when I say hood, nigga, I'm talking about hood for real. I mean, it came up on King Brown and the cereal hood, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about to this day, right now, nigga, when you eat cereal, nigga, you eat it out of a country crack butter bowl, nigga. I'm talking about when your mama a little bit short on the DTE bill, nigga, she heated the house up with the oven from the hood. Who the fuck y'all at? Nigga, let me clap one time. on y'all block. See, a lot of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I said the dirty family on your block. If you from the block, every motherfucking block had one, baby. But what I mean when I say that, I'm talking about that family that was 13 deep that lived in a two-bedroom house. I'm talking about that family that had a dog that lived his whole motherfucking life tied up to a tree in the backyard. You never seen a son bitch get fed. You never seen a son bitch get, get walked, but he outlived all your cousins. I'm talking about that family got a got a they got a back car seat on their porch that they use for furniture. I'm talking about that family of all dark skinned motherfuckers. Everybody in that motherfucker fight, even the motherfucking girls. I'm talking about that family that you didn't call by their first name, you called them by their last name. The Williams, the Johnsons, the Jenkins. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Let me say hell yeah. Okay. okay. How many of y'all remember getting y'all ass whooped by that family? <laughs> yeah, why the bitch in this motherfucker? Just me? Shit. September the 23rd, 1986, at 4.03 p.m., I received one of the worst ass whoopings I ever received in my life. My little Bobo Jenkins of the Jenkins family. Nigga whooped my ass over my own motherfucking Spider-Man bike. 
I'm keep shit 100 with y'all, man. I was a little nigga. I got beat up. I ran home crying. Now I'm about to see how many hood motherfuckers in this bitch for real. Your 11 year old son get beat up on the block and he run home crying. What's the first thing you tell him to do? You say, what, well, homeboy? Take his ass back outside and fight? That's what you What's up? Let me tell you something that's once being an 11 year old kid who daddy told him the same stupid ass shit that you're talking about right now. That's the worst motherfucking advice you could ever give your kid if your kid can't fight. Because my daddy told me that same stupid ass shit, I got a shit beat out of me 17 times in 15 motherfucking minutes. My daddy sent me outside to fight, I got beat up. Nigga sent me back outside to fight again, I got beat up again. Nigga sent me back outside to fight again, I got beat up again. I'm like, look, bitch ass nigga, 17 motherfuckers in this motherfucking house, and obviously I can't win. Bring your punk ass out here and help me. That nigga said, fuck it, son, I guess fighting ain't your thing. Take your motherfucking ass upstairs and have your sisters braid their Barbie dolls hair or some shit. Point of advice, y'all. Don't never send your kid on a mission like that. Know what your kid is before you send your kid out on a fucked up mission. Where the grown and sexy at this motherfucker? Clap your hands if you grown and sexy in this bitch. All this clapping. All this clapping. We about to find the fuck out. I'm about to do a public service announcement because a lot of ladies, a lot of gentlemen, y'all do shit and live certain ways that y'all think is grown and sexy, but it's really not. So I'm about to help y'all out a little bit. Tip number one, fellas, grown and sexy fellas, if you in a motorcycle gang and you do not own a motherfucking motorcycle, kill yourself today. with a motorcycle jacket on, your ass can't get a ride. Next tip, fellas, this is a little bar etiquette. You see this drink? In this drink is what is called a stirrer. This is used to mix your drink. This is not a straw. Do not sip out of this. You look like a bitch in the club when you're sipping out of this. Baby, I don't give a fuck how much money you get in the streets, I don't give a fuck how handsome you is. There's no way you can look masculine when you walk up to a young lady and do this. How you doing, sweetheart? What's your name? My name's Darnell, I'm a Leo. Look a fucking Fellas, it's y'all turn. Ladies! Public service announcement. If your house is not company compatible, stop having company. And what I mean when I say that, ladies, don't call a brother over to your home and tell him to bring a bottle of wine. And I bring the bottle of wine and I have to drink my wine out of a McDonald's cup because your shit ain't tight. Ladies, don't invite a brother over for dinner and we eat dinner out of a fucking paper plate. Get your silverware gang together. And this one right here, ladies, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, this one bugs the shit out of me. Don't call a brother over your house after midnight and man man is still woke the fuck up, jumping his retarded ass on the fucking couch with all this shit. I did not come over to see your retarded ass son after 12. I came over to fuck. Y'all don't even know how to tell a little nigga to take his ass to bed. The nigga running, he always, it's always this shit. Man man, this is Darnell, this is my friend. And man, man running his ass, look! I got Optimus Prime! Look, look at Optimus Prime! Oh, shit! I got Megatron! Don't nobody give a fuck about no toys after 12 o'clock, we got in the fuck! Then y'all do this shit! Man, man is smart as fuck, watch this! Man, man, say your ABCs! This little retarded motherfucker is stuck, stuttering over the R, the S, the T. 
Then I'm looking at the nigga, the nigga damn near my motherfucking height. How old is man man? Oh, he's 12. Just a little motherfucking pose of noise, ABC. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Let me say, hell yeah. I sipped out the straw. I hope y'all ain't see that. I sipped out the straw by mistake. It was a mistake. I turned my back. I can't even hear what you're saying. Okay, okay. She just told me, man, man, sleep. I'm about to fuck the shit out of paradise in a minute. Shit. Y'all laughing. Y'all seen that ass? That wasn't no motherfucking joke. Shit. Huh? Where's my what? Oh, it run in the family? That's your, that's your people? So when I fuck her, I can fuck you too? Show's over! <laughs> Shit, man. I'm gonna fuck around for a little bit more and I'm gonna get the fuck out of I know y'all looking at this motherfucking joke at some point. I'm like, man, what the fuck this nigga got on? This ain't even the type of shit that I wear, man. I'm 41 years old. I'm trying to catch up with these young motherfuckers and wear this shit. I got the pants sagging hard as hell because they skinny like a motherfucker. These are 3X. And these motherfuckers tight. So damn tight I had to fucking sag them to make them look like some real nigga shit. I can't stand you young niggas, man. Then I can't stand you young females neither because y'all see a nigga in his 40s. Y'all always talking about trying to trick or whatever and all that. I don't do that. Seriously. Seriously, I don't. Man, you look disappointed. No, baby, I'm serious. I did nine years in the penitentiary. I fucked myself better than any bitch could ever fuck me ever. You understand? So there's no way in the world I'll ever pay for sex. I had a young lady come to me not too long ago and say, Darnell, for a hundred dollars, she has spent the night. And I'm like, a hundred dollars? A hundred American motherfucking dollars to fuck? I bust one time, that's it? A hundred dollars? Hundred dollars mean a lot to me. I'm telling you now, ladies, if I ever agree to give you a hundred dollars to have sex, it's gonna be some shit. You gonna work like a motherfucker for that hundred dollars. And what I mean by that is I'm not even gonna fuck you. I'm gonna tell you, bitch, I got a WWF finish. I'm gonna bust your ass in the head with a chair, I'm gonna jump on the top rope, elbow the fuck out you, bitch. I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass for that hundred dollars. So be careful who you ask and what you ask for. You understand what I'm saying? All right, before I get out of here, anybody celebrating anything? What you celebrating, baby? You celebrating life? That's what's up. Okay, your turn up. Okay. I'm about to celebrate in a minute, man. At, at midnight, I'm about to rock this motherfucker, y'all. I want y'all to be happy for me at 12 o'clock. See, a lot of y'all like, oh shit, it's his birthday. No, motherfucker. At midnight, my motherfucking bridge car kicked the fuck on. So I'm about to go to Walmart and ball the fuck out on all you bitches. It feels real good to me to walk through the grocery store and don't look at the price of shit and just throw shit in my cart and walk up, slap the card on the desk like, bitch, handle that. My code is 5555 to get all the shit that I want. Cause goddamn it, when you spending cash, you as careful as a motherfucker in that bitch, ain't you? When you spending mother, when you spending motherfucking cash, goddamn it, you ain't buying steaks, you buying pork steaks. You ain't buying chicken wings, you buying wing things. You not, you not buying fruit loops, you buying fruit rings. That shit for a dollar ninety nine at the back of the motherfucking box. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Let me say hell yeah. yeah. All right, y'all, I came up here to fuck around a little bit. I had a ball. Follow me on Facebook. My name Darnell Jones. Look for me on the radio, man. AM 910 every Sunday from 6 to 8. It's called the Soul School Show. Me and Nat Morris from the scene. Every Sunday we put on a real good show. Listen out for that shit. Every Thursday night start March. Damn, I said March. Nigga, no, I'm hot. October the 6th, Thirsty Thursday at the locker room. We got a comedy show we do every week. Fall through a lot of the comedians y'all see gonna come, we gonna rock, we gonna have a good time. So you know what I'm saying, have a real good time. And one, one time before I get off stage, man, I wanna say to my brother, man, all y'all, man, for real, for real, thank y'all for coming out, give it up to y'all self, man. My boy, Antonio Lamont, you put together a bad motherfucker, nigga. I love you like no other nigga. You the coldest nigga in this shit. You the rookie of the year. I love you like a motherfucker. You 
my motherfucking nigga. Y'all motherfuckers out here, y'all clapping for my motherfucking boy. All right, y'all. I'm about to bring out the next comedian. This brother right here, guaranteed, funny as fuck. This brother right here is one of the Motown Lab Kings. This brother right here has a web series that I guarantee you follow it on motherfucking YouTube. It's funny as fuck. It's called Dead Wrong. I need all y'all to clap your motherfucking hands for the comedy styles of my nigga Darius Bennett. I said, when your girl is mad and moody, just bend the bitch over and put a tongue in the booty. Cause you got hey, half seat up, hey, half seat up, hey, half seat up, hey, half seat up. Cut it! Cut it, DJ. What up, dude? Where the half seat is at? Don't nobody eat ass? I can't lie, why you think a nigga keep catching a beat? He's an ass eater, ass eater, an ass eater, an ass eater. I was drinking my drink, you want to get him a sip. So hell no, nah, man, what is that? Shit on your lip? Ass eater, 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 What up, y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Y'all right? Let's give a hand clap to everybody who got on the same clothes they wore yesterday. All my real niggas who wear the same shit. It's funny when you see them, because they don't be expected to see your ass, so they give you excuses and shit. And you be like, what up, though, nigga? Like, oh, shit, I ain't even been to sleep yet, dog. Uh, hey, nigga, yes, you have. You are well rested. It's that outfit that needs the nap. You can take that shit off. Hey, uh, my ladies, to all my ladies in the building, stop judging men just because of what they wear, okay? I thought this lady liked me because we had the club dancing and she took my hat off and put it on her head. So I'm like, okay, we about to go fuck. And then she walked off so I danced with another nigga. I said, this one is you going with my hat? I looked at her and asked later on, she had on somebody's chain. I said, oh, this bitch is going shopping. <laughs> I know what this bitch doing. <laughs> and, and to my ladies, y'all ain't got to get butt booty ass naked to be sexy. We like to see that shit, but you ain't got to do that all the time. I think a woman is her sexiest when she in a, a sweatshirt and some panties. That shit's sexy. It's just not sexy when her pad is showing. Because that's when she want to cuddle and get close and shit. And she's like, well, don't you want to hold me? Well, don't you want to put some pants on? Because you got a pack of napkins taking out your drawers. I don't give a fuck how well I know you. If I know you on your period, see you jumping in the pool, you fuck the fat of you know. You can you can put your feet in, don't put your whole body in the water. I'm already swimming in some piss, and you want to bring some strawberry daiquiri to the motherfucker. Get your ass out the water. Is anybody else still pissed in the pool besides me? I do, you got to be slick. You know, when you're pissing, you just gotta walk backwards and play in the water like you're just fucking right. <laughs> Why the fuck should I get out the water and stop having fun? These kids pissing! These kids pissing! Why I can't piss in this motherfucker? God damn it! Does anybody else wear goggles? You can use your little cousin goggles to see how fat the little bitch booty is up under the water? Does anybody else still do that as an adult? <laughs> Alright, well fuck it then. I guess I'm the only pervert in the building. <laughs> fuck the dumb shit. Alright, I just wanted to share a little bit of time with y'all, man. I enjoy myself. Oh, man. I'm having the ball. If y'all having the ball, continue to do that. Continue to do that shit. 
because I guess they had uh, dollar shots in this motherfucker. I didn't know. Do y'all still have the dollar shots? Yeah. What time did it end? Was it over? What time was it over with? I'm looking at my watch like I know how to tell time. You can tell when the nigga can't tell time because you ask like, what time is it? He's like, shit, uh, it's probably, uh, like, what the fuck is probably, nigga? What do the watch say, goddammit? <laughs> I know I can't tell time, nigga. I'm, it's just because it looks good. That motherfucker don't even work. Nigga said, what time is it? Uh, hold on, let me see where my phone at. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 10.08. That's what time it is. Damn. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here, man. Let's do the I'm out, man. Listen. It's getting cool outside this big nigga season. Where my big niggas at? You better get you one. What's up?
If we in that section eight, we are not getting out this bitch. I'll be having my kids watch the walls and everything, bitch. This is our house. Fuck what you talking about? We cleaning this bitch up. They ain't never putting us out this bitch. Fuck what you talking about? I don't see how bitches let they section eight go. They no income, bitch. I, bitch, please, bitch. I be inviting the staff over. <laughs> Look from the office and shit. They be like, you cooking dinners? Yes, I am. <laughs> I had a staff at my shit. You hear what I'm talking about? Because I'm going to keep my section eight. The staff be on section eight. Am I lying? Get your motherfucking game up. Anybody got kids in here? Shouts out to all the retarded kids. Anybody got a retarded kid? No, y'all gotta claim them now. They put, look, we used to have retarded people, didn't we? <laughs> you didn't see them motherfuckers. I done had a retarded cousin since the 70s. I just seen that nigga 2013. You hear me? Now they got retarded motherfuckers just out there. Everybody is letting the retardedness just out. That's how cold it is. Shout out to everybody who got a retarded ass kid. They think that when your kid do some shit prior to you being an adult that you're retarded. So they start putting you on a vilify, a tumif. Anybody familiar with the medicines and shit? My son, they came home rapping. Do anybody else got a retarded ass kid rapping? This nigga just be rapping. Been grinding my whole life, nigga. Know what I'm talking about? Been grinding my whole life, nigga. Know what I'm talking about? I'm looking at him like, bitch, you ain't never grinded for shit, bitch. I got all that shit. Been grinding my whole life, nigga. Know what I'm talking about? I'm like, son, shut the fuck. You retarded as hell. And it's only until he take the meds do he calm down. And the nigga got a verse. Oh, niggas that's retarded got bars, y'all. This is all I need y'all to say. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about. That's all I need y'all to know. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about. Come on, say it with me. No, I'm talking about. Now look, I got y'all on the tune of in the bill of fat. Look at you motherfuckers. No, I'm talking about. Here y'all, I've been grinding my whole life, nigga. No, I'm talking about. Most of my realest niggas got life, nigga. No, I'm talking about. Oprah Roller got three strikes, nigga. No, I'm talking about. If it's a real, if it's a real nigga, I do it right, nigga. I wouldn't change shit. I do it twice, nigga. I said, son, <laughs> you going back to jail. That's his boy was in the background, second in the motion. Like I'm bending up hood selling this dope, nigga. No I'm talking about buy a fuck around and get smoked, nigga. No I'm talking about these niggas is crazy. Like this nigga that sold this nigga so many pills. Nigga selling his abilify through the hood for three dollars to the blow man. Niggas curling up off that shit. Niggas in comas. Shout out to all my niggas who think rolling is still alive. I wish y'all would stop rolling, nigga. That shit is dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? How D-E-A-D -E that shit is? That shit ain't nothing but a jail case. You niggas showing me all these pictures about the money you used to motherfucking have, nigga. I'm talking about some shit right now, nigga. <laughs> Bitch need to fill in on her toes right now, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talking about what you had in the 80s, nigga. Them pictures ain't gonna bring a shit. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> Look at him like her feet hot as hell, they wet. I don't need you to be noticing that whole shit. Sometimes everybody who got car problems. Anybody got car problems other than me? Anybody go to the oil shop and only pay $14.99? Not me, bitch. I pull in, the motherfucker. As soon as I pull in, somebody come try to get me like, yeah. Turn it on. Cut it off. All right, shut it off. I think I heard something. What's that? Uh-huh. Sound like an in and out of tire rod. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Turn it off. Shut it off. Let me hear what he's saying. Now turn it off again. Yeah, you need a brake line on both sides. The oil tank shop for $14.99. What are you doing? I came to get oil, sir. Turn it off. Cut it off. Let me hear what you What that is? 
Oh no, you need you got the goddamn yeah, you need a yeah, 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 exhaust system, that's what it is. I can take your whole exhaust system off and put a goddamn straight pipe on there, what you wanna do, man. It's gonna run the same way, I'ma tell you, it's gonna run like a Ford. It's gonna run like a Ford. Hold on. Turn it off. Shut it off. Turn it off. Hit the brake three times. That's how you make the sensor go off. Okay, you need a sensor. I said, how much the fuck? Turn it off. Shut it off. Turn it off again. You need brake pads. But I said, well, how much you gonna charge me for all this shit? In and out of tire rides, swing bar, motherfucking brakes all the way around, brake line on both sides. Come on now, I thought sway bar and swing bar was the same thing. Sway and swing sound. You trying to get paid for both a sway and swing? Okay, which one and how you do that and what? That motherfucker told me $175, I'll put you together. We can go to park floor, I'll put you together. <laughs> you got a deal out the goddamn oil shop. Shit. So sick of rolling up in there and spending my whole check, I came to spend $14.99 on the special. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I came to spend $14. Now I'm riding a mechanic in my car to parts galore. <laughs> he didn't tell me to drop him off for eight mile of that night. He gonna make it the rest of the way. He gonna call me when he through.
Hello? I said, what up, though? She said, what's wrong? <laughs> Shit, that was an AC, bro. She's like, well, why you calling my phone at 4.30 in the morning, ain't shit wrong? I said, open your door. <laughs> she said, open up what door? I said, bitch, your door. She said, listen, my door's in Atlanta. You live in Detroit. I said, bitch, I know where you live. Open your door. She's like, I'm about to hang up, man. You know this drunk shit calling me early in the morning. I said, listen, I ain't no no drunk shit. I'm just saying, open your door. She said, no, I'm about to hang up. I said, before you hang up, listen. Stop, you gonna get me in trouble. Ooh, you feel nice, you nasty, bitch. I'm gonna 
stop, you don't go to jail, you ain't fuck with my life, oh my God, you need to stop. We gon' fuck around and bust that all on this fucking girl, you know what I'm saying?
So stop being inferior and stop sitting your head down. Hell your head up and understand what you is. Can I get that head? All right, before I go, listen. I got a public service announcement. All my real niggas, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. Listen. If you don't have a bad bitch mentality, nigga, don't get a bad bitch. Can I get a hey man? Okay, we got some real niggas in this bitch, okay? And for all y'all niggas that didn't understand what I'm saying, let me, let me explain it to them, fam. You got it. Let me explain it to them. Let me explain it to them. Listen, if you know your girl look good, you first met her, you looked at her, you said, damn, damn, that's a bad motherfucker. The fuck you think I'm gonna say when I see her, nigga? Fuck you think I'm gonna say when I'm nigga, nigga? Damn, that's a bad motherfucker, nigga. I'm probably blind because she won't with you, nigga. No! God gave me eyes, I shall see. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? You got me fucked up. You know she look good when you walk out the house. You got me fucked up. Listen. Ladies. For real. That shit happened to me the other day. I was in the club. Look. Hold on. I was in the club. Oh, girl, ladies, you know how y'all, you know, oh, girl, walk in looking good as every lady. You know how y'all be bold ladies, but don't want to be bold ladies. You know the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all be navigating the wheels you got on. Now we take them heels. <laughs> take them heels off, you slew for the nothing. Listen. You know the fuck. I said, you know how you be bone when you got them heels on, bitch. You know what I'm talking about. And I don't mean no disrespect by the word though. You know your girl look good, listen. This shit happened to me the other day in the club. A girl walked in. And can I get your attention? I'm about to get off this bitch, we can party. Listen. A girl walk in the club, I was like, damn, that's a bad motherfucker. Ooh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. She's walking up like that ass is good. I turned around, her man was right there, like, nigga, what you looking at? I said, all that ass, nigga, you ain't see it right there. She almost fell right there in the blue, fam. Right there in the blue, right there. He was like, nigga, that's my woman, man. I said, well, congratulations, nigga. The fuck is you mad at me for? You fucking her. I'm just wishing I was fucking her, nigga. That's backwards hating, nigga. I'm gonna be mad at you for fucking her, nigga. I said, grab me a drink with William Stupid, nigga. <laughs> and which way you going? Cause I need to rise in the crib, man. My name's Tim and I'm out here. Yeah. I appreciate y'all, and I appreciate all my comedians coming out tonight, man. We had a great time, and I can't wait to do it again. Y'all be safe, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Speaking of Pokemon and shit, I went and downloaded the game. How many of y'all downloaded that shit? I downloaded it, I ain't gonna lie. I did, I downloaded that shit, nigga. I wanna, look, I downloaded that shit, man. Fuck y'all, I was riding around playing that shit. But look, the Pokemon shit races though, nigga. I was playing that shit down here on Greenfield and Pluto and fuck around and caught a niggly pool. I was like, what the fuck? A nigga caught a real niggly pool off this bitch at the gas station. That nigga was like, you caught me. I was like, no, the fuck I didn't, nigga. That nigga was like, give me 50 cent, 50 cent. 50 cents. I'm like, get the fuck on, Niggly Poo. Can I get a ride? No. Get your Niggly Poo ass out of here. Consider an authority figure. Pay homage, I hold a block. Hostage till I see a profit. If your interests don't conflict with mine.